everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome back to my kitchen today. We are going to make this delicious steakhouse style seasoning blend that you're gonna be able to use for all those delicious steaks and roasts that you like to whip up on your grill or in your kitchen. Um, I'm gonna be using this in an upcoming video and I'll share some information about that with you in just a moment. So let's go see how this all comes together. We're going to go over all of the ingredients and then you know the drill. This is a steakhouse style seasoning that you are going to love. It's been, you know, I think a lot of people like that Canadian style steak seasoning that everyone sells. I am not a huge fan of that. It's got a lot going on in there. I know it has fennel seeds in it and Rick does not really like fennel. And I know it has dill seeds in it and Rick doesn't really like dill that much. So I've developed my own steakhouse style seasoning and we're going to use it uh, in another video. We're going to be making iron skillet minute steaks and then we're going to use it use those steaks in another video where I'm gonna make a warm steak salad with sauteed mushrooms, tomatoes, and feta. And I can't wait to share those with you. So let's get down to business. What goes into this steakhouse style seasoning is a quarter cup of salt. For those of you who are on salt restricted diets, leave it out, no biggie. Two tablespoons of sweet paprika, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, two tablespoons of, I have used roasted garlic powder, but you can use regular granulated garlic. This is granulated, but it's roasted granulated garlic. I will leave a link down below to where you could find that. A tablespoon of ground rosemary because you don't want to be biting into a pine tree stem. Two tablespoons of granulated onion. A tablespoon of cracked black pepper. A tablespoon, you can adjust this to your liking, of crushed red pepper, which I do not find to be that spicy. You can leave this out. You can cut it in half. It's up to you. This is a tablespoon of ground coriander, a tablespoon of um, dried thyme, a tablespoon of celery seed, and a tablespoon of ground marjoram. That's it. All these things go great with beef or pork. You could even throw this on chicken, it's not even gonna matter. But if you like that Canadian style steak seasoning that everybody loves, you're gonna love this because it has similar flavors but it doesn't, just doesn't have all of the, the extra seeds and stuff. And we're gonna tip our paper right into the jar. Pop a lid on there. Just give it a shake. Get it all mixed up together in there. Beautiful, oh it's pretty. So that is how you make my Steakhouse Style Seasoning Blend. Um, I hope you give it a try. This is going to be perfect on our Iron Skillet Minute Steaks. I can't wait to share that with you. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you're new to my kitchen and this is your first visit, welcome. It's always lovely to have new people join me. And I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, as always, if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, remember to hit that bell notification button because we don't want anyone to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you'll give this steakhouse style seasoning a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.